The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you and I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us the everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the first book of Maccabees. As Antichus was traversing the inland provinces, he heard that in Persia there was a city called Elimos, famous for its wealth in silver and gold, and that its temple was very rich, containing gold helmets, breastplates, and weapons left there by Alexander, son of Philip, king of Macedon the first king of the Greeks. He went, therefore, and tried to capture and pillage the city, but he could not do so because his plan became known to the people of the city who rose up in battle against him. So he retreated and in great dismay withdrew from there to return to Babylon. While he was in Persia, a messenger brought him news that the armies sent into the land of Judah had been put to flight, and Lysus had gone at, at first with a strong army and had been driven back by the children of Israel, that they had grown strong. By reason of the arms, <coughs> arms men and abundant possessions taken from the armies they had destroyed, that they had pulled down the abomination which had been built upon the altar in Jerusalem, and that they had surrounded the high walls, both the sanctuary as it had been before, and his city in Beth Zur. When the king heard this news, he was struck with fear and very much shaken. Sick with grief because his designs had failed, he took to his bed. There he remained many days overwhelmed with sorrow, for he knew he was going to die. So he called in all his friends and said to them, Sleep has departed from my eyes, for my heart is sinking with anxiety. I said to myself, Into what tribulation have I come, and in what floods of sorrow am I now? Yes, I was kindly and beloved in my rule, but now recall the evils I did in Jerusalem. When I carried away all the vessels of gold and silver and that were there in there, and for no cause, gave orders for that the inhabitants of Judah be destroyed. I know this is why the evils have overtaken me, and now I'm dying a bitter grief in a foreign land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. I will. Because my enemies have turned back, overthrown and destroyed, be and destroyed before you, 
You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. The nations are sunk in pity, and they have made in a snare. They ha have made in the snare set. Their foot is caught. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor shall the hope of the afflicted forever perish. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. The Lord be in your heart and your lips that you may proclaim this gospel worthily in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought light, life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Some Sadducees those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her and likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now, at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said to him, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the proceeding today, uh, we heard of the death of uh, the Hellenistic kingdom king, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes. So this, this uh, um, Greek kingdom uh, were pagans. They did not believe in the God of the Jewish people. So what they did <clears throat> was to uh, ransack the temple, desecrated it, and, and, uh, and they offered uh, um, sacrifices not to honor the God of the Israelites, but to honor their own God. Um, so because of that, there was an uprising. The, the Jewish people did not like it. They did everything they can. They were ready to, to die uh, in order to preserve, to preserve the tradition, to preserve their uh, faith in God, to, to preserve their covenant and the laws. <clears throat> so that's what, what they did. And it was led by by um, Matathias, and Matathias had seven, seven uh, no, five sons. And then the, the fight of, of their father um, was continued by the five br uh, brothers and led by Judas Maccabeus. So at this time, um, so they, they uh, had a re 
a revolt against these, these foreign inter interventionists, and they won, and at this time, uh, the king was uh, uh, dying. So the most powerful guy, the most powerful king is now dying in, in the seemingly weak, weak and, and without any future um, uh, survive. That's the, uh, the Jewish people. So this, this uh, king, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, is a symbol, is a symbol of, of uh, a power, of power that, that tries to, uh, that continues and tries to threaten uh, religion and faith in our modern, in our days. So there are other, other uh, uh, there are countries in the world that do not, do not uh, accept religion or do not believe in God. Like, for example, China, Cuba, um, Laos, and Vietnam. <clears throat> and then there are other countries that, that uh, really uh, would persecute uh, any believers. Uh, like, for example, in, in Myanmar, uh, in some part of uh, Asia, like Korea, North Korea. Um, that's why. That's why the in in my country, in the Philippines, uh, 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 the the Catholic Bishops Conference of our country organized a uh, a uh, facility there, where where uh, priests from other countries, especially those so those countries that um, that where religion are not freely. Are that are prohibited from expressing their religion, then they can they can celebrate mass in that facility, and and broadcast it to uh, uh, how do you call that radios, and then they can listen to the uh, uh, latest pr uh, pronouncement of the Holy Father, um, and then uh, especially the mass uh, long long time before we have the online masses. They are already uh, doing the online masses in, in, in the Philippines and being broadcasted in, in so many countries like uh, Laos, Vietnam, and, um, uh, Korea, and uh, China, um, and in Malaysia, and in Indonesia. So we have a number of priests there that, that uh, they just, they just, their work is just to, to broadcast the mass. So, uh, so even today, um, um, in the United States, for example, we have Antiochus Epiphanes here, you know, those uh, secularists, those materialists, uh, those uh, uh, liberals, liberal-minded that they don't believe, they don't believe in the existence of God, they don't believe in the teachings of the Catholic Church, um, yeah, they will continue. They will continue to uh, to uh, suppress, uh, uh, especially those who are trying to be faithful to their uh, to their beliefs. So uh, that's why um, that's why. So we continue. This is a challenge for all of us. That despite despite that uh, there are so many so many who who don't believe and try to destroy. Uh, the Catholic teachings, we still, we will still stand uh, uh, proud and strong to defend our faith. <clears throat> now, in the Gospel today, this is uh, the question of uh, the resurrection. Uh, is there really a resurrection? When we die, where do we go? Where are we going? Do you know our destiny? Yes. And Jesus himself he is, he, he told us, he told his disciples and his, his followers, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He who believes in me, even if they die, they shall live. And he proved himself that there is be a life beyond death. When on Good Friday he died, and after three days he, he rose from the dead. 
So this is the reason why we continue coming to church. We continue coming to a mass every day because we believe that one day we, we will be with him in heaven, in paradise. See? And he promised that in, in uh, this uh, one of the, the thieves, when he was hung on the, in Calvary, and, the, and what he, did he say? Today you will be with me in paradise. So he has been talking about this paradise in so many uh, instances in, in his lifetime. So uh, for those who do not believe in the resurrection, that's it. Enjoy now, enjoy your life now to the fullest, for tomorrow you die. And they don't, they don't care. They don't care about um, important things. They don't care about, you know, things in this world. But we care, we care, because we believe that everything is connected with eternal life. Let us pray. Seeking the, seeking the God of the living, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That the baptized may set their sights on the life of the age to come, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That marriages may reflect the equality of God's children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That widows and widowers may be comforted by Christ's promise, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and dying may hope in resurrection's promise, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer that we may be found worthy of a place in the world to come, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Guy Frost, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may belong, that the dead may behold the living God of Israel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That uh, for the success of the uh, Great Lakes uh, Men's Conference today at uh, uh, NIU, DeKalb, we pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we beg you to listen to all our prayers, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we have for you, fruit of the earth, and we have you may hence and become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of you may handsome, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all souls. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain, gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let the us Lord. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all that they redeem, praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. 
Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion and took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us ready to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with friends, our Pope, and David, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Guy Frost, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, in all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command in form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await your blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look at our sins but in the faith of your church and grace will grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. <coughs> Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy 
Yes, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul shall be healed. Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive, and it shall be given to you, says the Lord, the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. Be God, we are here, we humbly pray. And that thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, press into hell Satan, and all evil spirit, 
Lord of the world, seek the rule of souls. Amen.